In this session, we'll study the next algorithm, Shannon encoding algorithm. In that, we have Shannon Fano algorithm and few examples on Shannon Fano algorithm. So let us first go through the encoding algorithm steps. The main aim of Shannon Fano encoding algorithm is to get a compact code with minimum redundancy. That is the main aim of this code, to get a compact code with minimum redundancy. What are the steps to be followed? In step one, we are arranging the symbols and decreasing probabilities. In step two, the set of symbols given are divided into two groups. First, we'll go through binary algorithm. So we are dividing into two groups such that the sum of their probabilities are approximately equal. So the sum in the first group, symbols, summation of the symbols in the first group must be approximately equal, not exactly equal, approximately equal in the second group. Now, after this is done, division of is done into two groups. Symbols in the first group are designated as one and symbols in the second group are designated as zero. The symbols in the first group as one, symbols in second group as zero. Now we have two groups with us. First group, which is designated as one, is further divided into two subgroups such that the sum of their probabilities are approximately equal. In those subgroups, again, they are designated as first group as one, second group as zero. This process continues until further division is not possible. Okay. Let us follow these steps for the problem given. We have this message x1 to x6 with the probability given to us. We have to construct binary code by applying Shannon Fano. That is the reason I told two groups to be done and two subgroups to be done because we are following binary code Shannon Fano. Find code efficiency and redundancy. So given message, given symbols. So given symbols first need to be arranged in decreasing probability. So first greater should come next point two, next point two, point one, point zero seven, point zero three. First step is over. This message have to be divided into two groups. So to divide into two groups, first we should see the sum of the probability should be approximately same for the two groups which I am dividing. So the sum of this is 0. 0.6. Sum of these four will be equal to 0. 0.2 plus 0. 0.1, 0. 0.3 plus 0. 0.4. This is 0. 0.6. This is 0. 0.4. So I make two groups. Or second option is 0. 0.4 can be one group. These together can be one group. That also is possible because 4, 5 and 6, either of the case. Okay. So my first group will be 0. 0.4, 0. 0.2. Okay. Second group will be 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.07, 0 0.03. Okay, not much difference, 0 0.6 and 0 0.4. Some of the probabilities approximately, little bit, diff not much difference, little bit nearby. Two groups are made. Okay, now first group designated as one. Each symbol in the first group, see, designated as one. Okay, next, each group symbol in the second group designated as zero. So this step is over. I have divided the given symbols to two groups such that some of their probabilities are seen. Next, first group symbols I designate as one. Second group, each symbol I designate as zero. Next, see the first group has two symbols. That has to be further divided into two subgroups. So I divide 0.4 as one subgroup, 0.2 as another subgroup. Now. 0.4 is the first subgroup, so it is designated as 1. 0.2 is the second subgroup. Second subgroup is always designated as 0. Next, this was your first group. This was our second group. Now, this became our first subgroup, second subgroup. Okay, next. I have the second group with me. I should divide this also into two subgroups. 
Why two? Because we are dealing with binary Shannon Fano algorithm. So the second subgroup has to be divided into two subgroups. Second group to two subgroups. So point two will be one group, and see the addition. Point zero seven plus point zero three is point one. Point one plus these two point one. This this is point two. This is point two. So uh, they are equal. Summation of their sum is equal. So what do I do? I divide point two as one group, and these three as another group. Okay, now this was for the second sub, second group. This is the first subgroup. So this is designated as one. These three are designated as zero. Next, here further division is not possible. Here not possible. Here not possible. So no division is possible. But still, I have this group left with me. This subgroup left with me. I can further sub divide into subgroup. So what do I do? Two subgroups I should divide. So I'll take this as point one. Summation of these two is point one, so they are again equal. So these two subgroups I divide. First subgroup is always designated as one. Second designated as zero. Next, here further subdivision is not possible. Next, I come to this one group divided into two groups. First is designated as one. Second designated as zero. Now the division is complete. No further division is possible. How to write the code words? Horizontally, you go on writing the code words. One and one. Correct. One and one. Length is two. Next. One and zero. Length is two. Second one. Zero and one. Again, length is two. Next. Zero, zero, one. Length is three. Coming to the fourth one, zero, 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 one. Length is four. Last one, zero, 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 zero. Length is four. So these are the code words which are being generated for the symbols given to you. By one or more algorithm. So previous algorithm we saw it was Shannon algorithm where it was the decreasing order probabilities, then calculation of alphas, then finding the li inequalities, all those things. It was one type of steps we followed. In this, we are following different type of step where we are dividing the given symbols to two groups based on the sum of their probabilities, which are approximately equal. Then first group I designate as one symbols in first group. Second group I designate as zero. Next, the same first group I divide it to two subgroups so that their summations are approximately equal. And first group subgroup always designated as one. Second subgroup as zero. Next, this group is remaining. I again divide to two subgroups. One one. See this each is single. So further division is not possible. But here we have three symbols again two subgroups. Here, point one is single. No further division is possible. Here, there are two. So further division is possible. So always the first group or subgroup designated as one. Second always designated as zero. And with this, I write the code words and I write what is the length. Then I find the average length, which is pi into li. What is p one? Point four given to you. What is l one? Two. This is l one, l two, l three, l four. L5 and L6, still L6. So we have P1 is 0.4. It is given in the problem. P2 is 0.2 into L2, P3 into L3, P4 into L4, P5 into L5, P6 into L6. That is what I have written. I get 2.3 by its message per symbol. Next, once I have average length with me, I can find the entropy. Pi log 1 by Pi. After I find entropy. This is the code efficiency. This is the code efficiency, which is equal to entropy by average length L. Once I have code efficiency, I get code redundancy, which is one minus efficiency. That is how we are going to calculate for the given problem by dividing the symbols given to two groups. Further division goes on continuing. First group always designated as one. Second group always designated as zero. And horizontally write the code words along with those length, 
find average length L, entropy, efficiency and redundancy. Next, we'll go to the next problem. Given four messages, x1 to x4 with the probabilities. Construct binary code using Shannon Fano encoding algorithm. Find efficiency and redundancy. So first thing is we have to arrange them in decreasing order 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Okay. Now I have to divide to two groups. So initially what I will do, I will take 0.4 as one group. This is 3, 4, 5, 6 addition. This is 0.4 addition. This is 3, 4, 5, 6. 0 0.6 will be the addition. This is be designated as 1. This is second group. So I designate it as 0. That is what I have done. This is only one sim, one message. So further division not possible. Next, this can be designated. See, 0 0.3 is 1. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 is 0 0.3. So two groups here, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and 0 0.1. This is designated as 1. These two are designated as 0. Next, again, here no further division. Again, here I have to 0 0.2, 0 0.1. This is designated as 1. This is designated as 0. That is what is done. Now, while writing the code word, this is 1 as it is. This is 0, 1. That is what I have written. Next, this is 0, 0, 1. Third one. Okay. Next, this is 0, 0, 0. This fourth one. Once I have this L1 to L4 with me, I will find the average length. What is the average length? How I am finding the average length? 0.4 into L1. Okay. What is L1? Okay. What is 0 0.4? 0 0.4 into L1 is 1 plus 0 0.3 into 1. That is what? Correct. Pi into Li. Next. Plus 0.2 into 3. Plus 0.1 into 4. After I do this, I get the average length. Once I get the average length, I calculate what is the entropy with respect to equation Pi log 1 by Pi. Then H of S by average length will give you efficiency. And 1 minus efficiency gives you redundancy. This is the average length equation Pi into Li. This is L1, L2, L3 and L4. These are the code words which are generated for 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and 0 0.1. So once code words are generated, find the average length L, find the entropy. Efficiency is entropy by average length. Redundancy is 1 minus efficiency.